Hey guys, what is up? Diamond Brooks Productions here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing off a custom mock. This is a combination between the Games Market and the Tournament of Elements. So I decided to combine the two sets together to basically make one big play set. Now recently I did a comparison that you all definitely loved. And, um, you know, I thought, wait, what if I combine these two together? Things will be real interesting. And alas, here we are. And I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So... There are three major sections. There's the centerpiece, a weapons rack, and a little shop. So yeah, and of course, um, we'll just take the figures out of the way. Now before we begin, I just want to mention that there are a couple builds, or fair builds more, um, to be more accurate. There are three builds that I decided not to take apart. The first one is basically just Lloyd's little um, stand. So yeah, really simple. I also decided to keep this just because I didn't know what to do with it. And um, the spinjitsu thing, because it can be nice for play value. So, let's take a look at the actual build. So here it is, and recently I posted this on Reddit, and although I got a decent amount of upvotes, I decided to change it up a little bit. So yeah, and I think it looks a lot more complete now. So let's begin at the very top. And I have a bit of, just a little bit of signage. So we have an item market sign here, the Prime Empire logo, and a few other little signs with a top hat because I don't know where to put it. And along the rooftop, I have Bilobo using his um, nature powers. And I also have a little chronicle hat here just for decoration. And I also decided to have a little bit of a roof. Plus, if I just move this out of the way, just these little banners, which these are very loosely held on. There's like zero friction in there. Anyway, moving just down a tad bit. Um, you can see that there's a little bit of a ladder going on. Just, you know, if you want to get up to different levels. There's also a staircase here that I'm pretty happy with. And um, I'll just remove Gravis real quick. Sorry, Gravis. I'll keep pronouncing him Gravis. That you can see... Um, Chien, no, Klaus's spellbook, sorry, what's wrong with me? Um, turning it around, there's a bit more um, hats here, which I, I kind of like this part usage here. Now, I've hidden two red power bricks um, throughout the build. This is one of them. Of course, this is the reference to Lego Star Wars the video game, so I've included one of the red bricks there. And, of course, there's nothing back here aside from that red brick. And if you're wondering what this open area is here, this is where you can put Golden Lloyd or any of the other golden figures for that matter. And um, if I can just get him in here, it's a little hard, but once you've gotten him in here, it looks super great from the front. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Just a side note, you can connect this to here because there's some ball joints, and you can also do it on the other side, although you're going to have to remove the ladder. So, yeah, but anyway, let's take a look at this build. So, it's really just um, supposed to replace that little item shop from the first one. There's kind of like a combination between the weapon, weapon stall and the character customizer. So, yeah, as you can see, I've got the credit sticker here. And I'll just remove um, Okina real quick. And there's a bit of detailing inside of there with the pink. And this is the second red power brick, which I've got kind of like a nice angle. You can move it a little bit and even rotate it if you want. There's also two hats I have on display. And I've also got a um, few katanas here. And when you lift this up, it reveals even more katanas. And, yeah, you could just spin it up like that. And there's nothing around the back. So, yeah. And the final build of the set is a weapons rack and I mainly made this just to accommodate all of those other little pieces so yeah this isn't everything from that little bag of course um the transparent green ones we used for accessories and the regular green ones we used on the actual build but yeah I've got lots of weapons here I mean I've got some of these moon shaped pieces a bunch of swords up here and of course this does ball bladed weapon and I've also um, got a little thing up here, just so you know. Okay, this side is for green, this set is for the solid green. And there's um, not really anything going on here, although I do have some roller skates because I don't know where to put them. 
overall, I think it's kind of inter an interesting experiment to see what happens if you combine the games market and the tournament developments. And I think the outcome, although I'm not going to keep it like this, I think it looks great. And, um, yeah. Now, unfortunately, I do not have instructions, so if you want to build this, I'm very sorry. But, at least I'll encourage you to let your mind grow wild, because, you know, I think that this is a pretty good looking build. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later. Goodbye.